Ramapo took on St. Joe's at Ice Vault in the semifinals of the Big North Silver Division playoffs. The first period was uneventful, with only six shots on goal, but Ramapo's best chance was on a power play when Jeremy Roberts skated through St. Joe's defense, but was stopped by goalie Eric Frasca. Later on in that same power play, with five forwards on the ice, four of them down low, disaster almost struck. Roberts may have saved a goal. Penalty shot! Penalty shot! Penalty shot! Penalty shot! And surprisingly, he was not called for a penalty. The penalty for tripping was called on Dan Thompson earlier in the play. The second period began four on four. And just as their power play was starting, James Pierce skated through Ramapo and gets one past Carl Boomer. Seventeen seconds later, Jake Healy causes a turnover and apparently is bottled up by Ramapo players with the puck disappearing in their skates. When it reappears, Healy is in position and puts it away. You know, what we were doing and the four checks we were running and the pressure we were trying to apply, I think they panicked a little bit. First time they've been down against us and, uh, you know, it kind of showed that uh, they unraveled for a couple of minutes. Ramapo had many chances in the second period. But with St. Joe's all over them, they were unable to convert. Part, part way through the second period, there was a few shifts where we had cycled the puck well, had it down low well, put the pressure on it, just didn't go in. I think it was really important in that part of the game, you know, there was a lot of time left in the game at that point, so I think it was crucial. Um, I, thought the, I thought the lads did a great job just staying disciplined and making sure that they continued to run the defensive zone coverage that they were set, they continued to run the forecheck that they set and they were able to get through it. In the third they had their chances as well, with a deflection going just wide. A puck through the crease just out of reach. And St. Joe's, of course, putting pressure on Boomhauer as well. With time running out and the net empty, the Raiders finally broke through. But with only 35.6 seconds left, it was not enough time. There was the normal amount of unpleasantness at the end of the game, but quickly sportsmanship took hold. It's hard to beat a three times, that team three times in one season. And uh, as coaches, we were talking about that for the game. Indian Hills, Tuesday, 7 o'clock.